Hi everyone, it's Kenneth from VS Code. Today I want to show you how you can debug your Node.js code using the built-in debugger. The easiest way to get started with debugging is to simply open your JavaScript file in VS Code like I've done here. Here I have index.js that contains a set interval that is outputting a console message every second. So if I run this from the integrated terminal, what you will see is that you'll just see an a, a console.log message being outputted every second. If I were to debug this, what I then can do is that I can press the green debug icon up here. VS Code will then ask me what kind of environment it is. In this case, it's Node.js. And what you now see is that our debugger is attached because VS Code has automatically found your index.js. And if I go to the debug console, what you see is that my console.log message is, is automatically being outputted in the console. So if I set a breakpoint, what you now then see is that my breakpoint will get hit. And I have my variables pane out here. I can see the local uh, scopes. I have my watch panel because I set a watch for my variable i. And I have a call stack uh, to basically figure out what's, what's going on behind the scenes. And I can continue this. And for next iteration, second after, my program will be hit again. So this is a super simple way that you can get started by using the Node.js debugger in VS Code. The next thing I want to show you is how you can use the VS Code debugger in combination with your favorite terminal. So what I have here is a simple Node.js shopping cart project straight from GitHub. It's a Node app that is powered by Express using a bit of Express Session and using handlebars for rendering. So it's a straightforward kind of server-side rendered app. Um, so what I've done here is that I've checked out the repository. So it's locally on my computer. If I do a ls, you can see it's kind of here. So the first thing I want to do is that I want to start and open this uh, repository inside code. So I now have Visual Studio Code open, and uh, there's the README. So let's take a look around. Um, there seems to be this app.js that is creating an Express instance and setting up the web server. There's this routes index.js file where all my routes uh, for, for the various pages are. This seems to be like an interesting place to debug. Um, so the next thing I, I want to, to do here is to configure uh, the Node.js debugger in, in VS Code. And the way you do it is that you go to the, the, the debugger uh, section over here. Uh, and then in the top here, you can see there's no configuration right now. So if you say add configuration, what you're then getting asked uh, here is that what kind of environment do you want to set up? In our case, we want to set up a Node.js environment. And then the next thing is that you have to pick like a configuration template. So this is our templates and how you can configure our Node.js debugger. What I want to do here is to, uh, to use attached to process template. Um, and let me let me explain uh, what that actually means. So I have a new file called launch.json. This launch.json file is the configuration file uh, that you save inside your repository uh, that basically tells VS Code how to, how to configure uh, uh, its debuggers. So what I have with this first configuration here is that first of all, you can see it's uh, it has a uh, the request type called attach. So it's basically a way for us to take our debugger and attach it to something. Um, and you can see that the process ID is calling a command called pick process. So this, this basically allows us to take our Node.js debugger and enumerate the Node.js processes and allow you to pick the node process um, and then connect the debugger to it. So um, if I save this file, you'll see that I get like new two new configurations up here. And what I'm interested in is basically attached uh, by process ID. So I'm using the, the integrated terminal here. So what I'm going to do for, for this project is that I'm going to do an npm start. This is going to start uh, my local node server. And if I switch to my, my browser, uh, I already know that it's running on port 3000. And what we can see here is that my node app is uh, is now running with this shopping cart. I can add some apples to the cart and they get added up here. If I go back to VS Code, the interesting thing I can now do because I want to debug this thing is that I can select the attach by process ID configuration we just did and I can press the green button. What you now see is a quick pick list that is enumerating all the uh, the node processes running on my computer. And this is the process I just started from the terminal. So I select it. And what you now see is that our debugger is now attached. I got this debug toolbar up in the top where I can restart, I can stop debugging, I can pause and doing a lot of things. Um, so the next thing for me now that our debugger is attached is to uh, actually set a breakpoint. 
if I go back to our routes file, I can see, hmm, maybe I want to set a breakpoint uh, when hitting, hitting uh, the root path. So if I set a breakpoint here, you can now see the breakpoint is activated. And if I go back in Chrome and I refresh uh, the page, bam, we automatically switch to VS Code. And I, I've hit my breakpoint. So I can kind of see like the request object coming in. I can see kind of the response object. I can see the next callback. Um, if I want to step over this render function, you can kind of see that now products has been populated. So I have a list of uh, the products. If I want to have more detailed information, I can basically go to the, the, the debug section here. And what you see is that I have a variables window that is basically telling me the local uh, variables that are available in the scope. I have from the closure and have all global uh, global variables. The next thing I can do out here is that I can set a watch if I have something specifically on a watch. So maybe in this case, I want to output products. Uh, you can see products is an array of uh, four objects. Uh, I also have the call stack, so I can kind of see what has gone on inside uh, Express and uh, uh, other parts of, uh, uh, of my application. Down here, I have a list of my breakpoints. So I have a list of the breakpoints I've set and also have a way to like uh, see the loaded scripts, but that's kind of not relevant now. And simply, I've hit my breakpoint. Things looks good. There's some products now kind of know what that is. And I can hit the green button here and you'll see my, my page has uh, page loaded. So, so really, this is just a simple way that you can uh, configure the node JS debug and VS Code to connect to any node process that's running on your system. Uh, I started my node process here from the integrated terminal. It could have been in my external uh, terminal. It could have been via Grunt script or whatever. Um, you don't need to use VS Code's task system, anything like that to attach to, to already running node processes. The last thing I want to show you is how you can use VS Code to launch a node process to make things even simpler. So I'm back here to my Node.js shopping cart project. But if I go back to the launch.json file that we were creating before, you'll notice that I actually have another debug configuration called launch program. And that's because VS Code has automatically generated this config by extracting your npm start script. And what you'll see is that the request type of, of this configuration is now launch instead of attach. And what this launch configuration will do is it will, it will launch a node and attach our debugger. So it's kind of a combination of what I've been showing before. So let me show you how that works. So if I go to the debugging section, I can say launch program. And what you'll see down here is that my node process is being launched and the debugger is attached. And that way I can super easily just press the debug button from VS Code, launch my program and start using the debugger. So uh, if you want to know more or just get started, you can grab the source code from this repository. And if you want to read more about uh, the features in our Node.js debugger, you can check our great documentation we have on code at visualstudio.com. That's it. Happy coding.